How's everybody doing? God bless. I'm going to go over my last video. Most people know I'm looking at the 4th of July. Everything's pointing to the 4th of July, and I will go over it right now. And I will go over IPET GOAT Heliophant, which means Sirius Rising. Sirius Rising is Heliophant, which is IPET GOAT. I will go over it. I wanted to play this first just to start out. And I got this one. Want I want the truth. You can't handle the Most people can't handle the truth. Most people don't want to hear the truth. As I showed in my last video, somebody put a comment about Abraham Lincoln as she turns. Abraham Lincoln's speech on the 4th of July was about civil war. That's what it would be, civil war. All staged. Fourth of July, they pull it. This right here is a representation as the water is of the Nile. This is represented in IPET GOAT. This is a representation of the Nile. This is the Fourth of July. This is serious rising on the Fourth of July. Right here, the Fourth of July, Sirius is rising. This is representative of Egypt, which America was patterned after Egypt with the obelisks. Obama also had this in his video. Comes crashing down. The eagle. This is exactly what I showed you in my last video. When Biden fell down on the stage, the eagle comes crashing down. This is Biden falling down. Same representation. Fourth of July. When it comes crashing down with the nuclear sub as it shows in IPEC Go. Serious mystery in the Supreme Council of 33 degree Masons. Right here. The helical rising of Sirius is when it's uh, first seen beyond the eastern horizon. Now, That's exactly what Obama shows in his, uh, his, uh, his emblem, rising. Ancient Egyptian culture. Uh, Sirius was Isis or Aset, which is also could be considered the Virgin Mary. Right? So, um, Sirius, the star system, was considered to be Isis. So when they first noticed the star in the sky, they understood that the Nile would be flooded. The Nile flooded. That's exactly what Katy Perry showed in her video right here. The flooding of the Nile, as in Egypt. This is also at the Hoover Dam, as I showed you right here at the Hoover Dam, right here. The obelisk. The uh, this is exactly the emblem of the United States. This is when it goes down. Suddenly, this is making a lot of sense. Let's take a look at one more picture. The so flooding of the Nile in Sirius. That's exactly what it's showing right there. That was the flooding of the Nile, the Nile River, which is 
uh, when the Nile River flooded in ancient Egypt, uh, the whole culture was based off the Nile, which ran all the way uh, from Nubia or Kush all the way up to ancient Egypt. So the flooding of the Nile happened right after they, right when they saw this star, the Sirius star constellation in the sky. Now the Sirius star, uh, when the, the Nile flooded, it made the soil very, very rich and it made it more, more really, really fertile. So they understood it was a good time for agriculture. All right, so the Sirius star system, so it moved past that. So this is what's happening when ancient Egyptians are celebrating the rising of the Sirius star system. Now, where is the Sirius star, Sirius star system located? It's located in the Canis major constellation. Right in the neck is the dog star. All right, so the Sirius is located in the Canis major constellation, which is the dog star. All right, again, this, this star system is the closest. Some say we have a dual star system. The star system is very, very close. Um, so, this is also when their new year and their, their new year was. As you can see here, here's another video on it. This happens once a year, as all new years do happen. New when year. The star, Sirius, resurrects from the dead we see. It appears as the first star of dawn. So right when the sun rises, there's a star, while it's still a bit dark out, that shines. And this star is Sirius. Or Sobedu. Which you see here, Sobedu, which is Sirius. Here is the glyph of Sirius, showing here its glyphic determinatives and letters. This glyph here represents a black hole. Yes, this represents mass or matter, and this represents a star. So this is the star Sirius shown in our glyphs, and here we have an image of a malformed being. This is an initiate who has become purified or mummified and incorruptible, absorbing star energy, star chi, into his higher brain centers before his Bob Bird called his soul his divine spark or mortal spark showing that we Africans of the Nile Valley have always turned to the stars to absorb their rays their this was their new year in Egypt it all revolved around Sirius and the helical rising of Sirius the helical rising of Sirius, as he was saying right here, helical. Rising. Now, in ancient Egyptian culture, um, Sirius was Isis or Aset, which is also could be considered the Virgin Mary. So Sirius is actually our closest star system. It's about 8.9 or something, 9 light years away. It's very, very close. Now, in ancient Egyptian culture, uh, how's everybody doing? I'm going to end my video here. The helical rising of Sirius. This is Egyptian. It's always shown with a pyramid. They even show it right here. The helical rising of Sirius. This is in Egyptian culture. This is their new year. As I showed what they were showing with Katy Perry, with the Nile River, the obelisk right here. This is the representation of Egypt. I will go over this in a minute. This is the 4th of July. She was singing about the 4th of July. As I showed with Obama. This is in uh, the Hoover Dam. The same thing. This is the date I'm looking for. As you can see, the 4th of July... The brightest star in the heavens, Sirius, every year at the 4th of July, in our Earth's position, the sun is conjunction with Sirius. It's exactly what they're showing. Right here. A declaration of independence, excuse me, in June 28th, 1976. Okay. But they had it ratified on July 4th, in 1776. That was us declaring our independence from England. Now... Freemason, the Freemasons, uh, obviously, they were follow, followers of ancient Egyptian culture. Exactly. This is exactly Ipet Goat, and I'll show it in a minute. It's exactly what they're showing in Ipet Goat, the boat floating down the Nile. 
So what does this mean to ancient Egypt? It's a real question. That's exactly what Katy Perry was showing here and exactly what they showed at the Hoover Dam with the flood. What does the 4th of July mean in ancient Egypt? Well, we're going to look at the stars. It's their new year. It's an astrological event, right? It is called, and if you wanted to Google it, it's called the Helical Rising of Sirius. Exactly what I said. Exactly what I said. And that's exactly what I pet goat is. Helico, helico, heliophant, helico rising of Sirius. That's exactly what I, that's exactly what I pet goat made. Helio, helio. Exactly what he said. The last scene, and I there's fireworks, skull and bones. You have the last scene. You have the Egyptian pyramids. You have it rising, helical rising, and you have the Nile River. You have, this is Osiris boat, Nile, which is of Egypt, floating down the river, exactly as Katy Perry was showing here, right here, the flooding of the river with the obelisk. Now let's get back to the meat. Now, what does that mean? So what's the etymology of helical? Helical is Helios is the Greek god of, of excuse me, the Greek god of the sun. The Greek sun god is Helios. All right, all meaning it's included. So um, all seen eye, as I showed you right here, the helical rising of the sun in Sirius and the pyramids. They show the pyramids right here. They show the pyramids right here. So, Sirius is actually our closest star system. It's about 8.9 or something, 9 light years away. It's very, very close. Now, the helical rising of Sirius is when it's uh, first seen beyond the eastern horizon. Now, in ancient Egyptian culture, uh, Sirius was... Isis or Aset, which is also could be considered the Virgin Mary, right? So, so there you go. Here's another video on it about their new year, exactly ancient Egypt. Energies may come from the stars, and each star, while it's still a bit dark out, that shines, and this star is Sirius, or Sobid. What you see here, Sobid. Here is the glyphor series showing here its glyphic determinative the pyramid. letters. This glyph here represents a black hole. Yes, this represents mass or matter, and this represents a star. And here we have the Great Pyramid of Giza, where its southern shaft is aligned to space time. If you are in Florida, if you are in New York, if you are in Anchorage, Alaska. So this is their new year. The, when the Nile flooded, it was their new year. It was, they were watching Sirius. As you can see, Heliophant, Heliophant Channel, the, the, the rising, the heliacal rising of Sirius, as I showed you here. I showed you this at the Hoover Dam also. Now right here it says the importance of, this is Egyptian. Additional, the brightest star, the importance of Egypt for other reasons. It's considered the power behind the sun. It's exactly what they show in, in uh, the power behind the sun. They show behind the sun, they show this meteor hitting the earth. The power behind the sun. The heliacal rising of Sirius. Heliacal. Right there behind the sun.
Sirius was associated with the mother goddess of the earth. And this is exactly fertility also. This is what they thought that the Nile River, when the Nile River flooded, the Egyptian pyramid of Giza were lined up with Sirius. That's right. The fact about the Egyptian solar calendar, as you can see right there, in the Middle Ages, right here, and it says right down here, it says, uh, um, the Nile flooded. July 19th was the Egyptian New Year, the 19th. But it's about the helical arising of Sirius, and it was around the 4th of July, the uh, 33-degree Freemasonry, and that was on the 4th. That was That's when it was started. It was started on the 4th of July, the Freemasons. That's why I showed you in my video of uh, the Truman Show. They show the same thing, the exit door, and Sirius, the canister, falling down between the pillars, just as I showed you here with Katy Perry. It has to do with the Egyptian pyramids. That's how the Egyptian pyramids were made, off Sirius. And exactly what they show right here in the end, him floating down the Nile. I know there's something that I forgot. My next video, I will have the obelisks. The obelisks, which is the obelisk right here, has to do with, with, the, uh, with um, Egypt, the obelisks. Right here, I will have that in my next video. Because this right here, obelisk, that was very important. But I'm not going to try to find it now and waste time. The obelisk right here, they have it in this video right here. I will show it. The obelisk that they show right here has to do with the Egypt, ancient pyramids. And it has to do with um, their calendar with the sun, obelisks. I'll show that in my next video. Also, too, I'm going to show the, uh, the I believe that uh, Damascus will be... T attacked on the 20 around the 26th to the 28th that's what i believe is beef attacked god bless this is what i'm watching the 4th of july god bless